The Live View feature in Shutterstream 360 product photography software is an integral part of the workflow. We enable this by left clicking on the Live View button. As we can see, it's going to stream a real time preview of what our camera sees onto our monitor screen. First, we will look at the Live View options. By clicking the three icons in the bottom right of this icon, we're going to see we can pull up our Live View options. First and foremost, what we do suggest is to enable your display lines. Users will have full control over the amount of display lines. Right now we're using 5x5 five five and also the odd line and even line colors for the grid lines. Users do have control to rotate their live view if required. In this case we do not need to. We will leave it at zero degree. Users also have the ability to adjust their live view window size. They can revert that back to one to one by clicking the fit to view icon. Last, users do have modeling mode. If you're working with strobes, this feature will benefit you significantly. We do highlight it further in our user documentation. And the very last options here, uh, users can choose to keep live view on after capture or auto open their image after capture. That would be as soon as you capture an image, it's uploaded into the software and you can review it. With keep live view on after capture, it will capture the image, upload into the software, then revert back to your live view to enable you to shoot your next photo. Our last step here is to pre-name our images. Uh, if you're working with maybe uh, a workflow that uh, you'd prefer to pre-name your product images before capture, you would enable that. We'll go ahead and close out of the Live View options and discuss some more of the functionality. Next thing we're going to see here is our control camera. Users do have full control over their camera exposure settings, including aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance. And the nice thing about this, if working with a camera, with exposure simulation is as you make changes to your camera settings, you're going to see the results in real time. So we're going to optimize our camera setting for our lighting environment. And after we've optimized those settings, they're going to be retained inside the software so that anytime we take a shot, it's going to retain those settings. We're looking a little bit overexposed here. So we'll revert that back to one quarter of a second of our shutter speed. Users will also have the ability to view uh, one to one and adjust and set a focal point for their 360 product photo shoot. Uh, we're going to go to the live view zoom option, click the X10. We're going to see that zooms in nice and up close. And what we can do inside of here is adjust our focal point near and far. So I'm going to make it just a bit blurry as you see in the real time preview. And I can bring that back into focus. Nice thing about that is it's going to retain that exact focal point when I get started shooting my 360 product photography as long as our capture mode toggle is toggled to MF. We're going to go ahead and revert back to fit. That will take us out of the 10x zoom. And I will close my camera settings window. Now another powerful feature of the live view is to kind of pre-rotate your turntable to ensure that you position your object in the center of the turntable. If you're working with an Iconosys turntable, you would select this control turntable option and then do a preview spin. And as we can see here, we're visually watching on the screen to ensure our object is spinning in the center of the turntable. The next thing that we can do that will save us a lot of time in post-production is to pre-crop our subject. That is, define the area that we wish to shoot. And as our object turns, we just want to ensure it's not going to fall outside of this cropped area. So that looks pretty good there. Stayed in focus. Let me just move the turntable back to my starting position. And then simply, we can close that window. When we're ready to get started shooting, we simply hit our Shoot 360 button, select the number of frames, hit Start, and that will automate our image capture process in a turn-stop snap workflow. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.